All right, so let's get started. So I already have an account set up, so that should already be done. So now you would click virtual tour and it's gonna bring you into your dashboard. Once in your dashboard, you wanna click create new tour. In here, this is where you put your tour name in. And the description is optional. You do not have to add a description to, to your tour. I like to, but again, it's optional. And if you look underneath there, you're gonna see privacy, unlisted, private, and public. Public means it's completely open to anybody to view this tour, which for a realtor is probably a good thing to do. Unlisted means just like with YouTube, you can only view it with a link. Private is gonna be locked and only private access to it. So now on the next screen here, you're going to upload your pandas. So you click upload panorama, find it on your hard drives, hard drive. and select them and click open. Now I changed the, the name, I actually titled each one of my photos, saves me a little bit of time and I know exactly which one it is when I'm working with them. But you can change that later. So these are uploading, I'm gonna come right back as soon as these are done and we'll continue. All right, so everything is uploaded and this is the next screen that pops up. And as you see, it has all the finished panoramas up here. And you click the edit icon, and you, this is where you can change the name of each icon, or each photo. You can also add a description for each photo, and you can add the GPS location for each panorama. So I wanna reorder these. They're out of order, and I wanna put them into the order that I want specifically. So you click the reorder button and you simply drag these around. Now the first one in this order here is always going to be the initial panorama of your tour. So let's go ahead and click on edit. And here we go. So I want to set my initial position. So I can do this by grabbing that bullseye icon there and dragging it into the into the view that I want, like this, or I can simply pan the camera around into the, the, the view that I want. And then over on the right hand side, I can set initial position. And it's gonna do that for me. So now let's go ahead and add an image over my nader or what would be where the tripod is at. So click on nader over in tour. You would upload an image that you prefer by simply clicking upload image. Choose the image that you want and you can change the size of it however you like. You can also change the transparency as well. Now this is always gonna keep the same perspective no matter how you look at it throughout your tour and this updates it on every single panorama. So now let's take a look at tour settings. And over on the right under tour, click on the tour settings. And it's going to bring up this dialog box here where you can change the logo up in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to go with Caldwell Banker. As that is the who the agent that hired me to do this job is. So now underneath this icon, you'll see a, a URL here. That's where you can actually change the address so that when somebody clicks on that icon, it brings them to a specific URL. I'm just going to put mine on there for right now for demonstration purposes and then this this is your default hotspot for the tour uh, you can upload your own icons as you can see here um, for this i'm actually going to go with my favorite one which is this guy here it's very small it's animated and it's not very intrusive so 
if you want to add text, the default is going to have a black background. I want to have a white text with a transparent background. So this is how you would set that. By simply setting the transparency right there. And there we go. I'm going to show you this again. Everything's transparent. Perfect. So you want to make sure that you click save. And that's going to ups uh, that's going to save all that information for out all the hotspots and for the text background throughout the, the entire tour. So let's go ahead and click add new under the hotspot dialog box there, drop down, and let's put a new hotspot up. So it's going to automatically pop up with your default hotspot. You drag it around to the location that you want, and you add a link to it, which is going to be the next one in your list, or whichever one you prefer. So I want to add a logo here, or not a logo, but I want to add some text to this so people know exactly which room they're going into. And you simply add it right there. All right, so now let's move off to here, set my location or my initial position, and let's backlink it. There we go. Add a label for the entry, and go ahead and link that to the entry panel. Done. So now let's add the office and the master bedroom. This is just showing you how quick and easy it is to build a tour with teleportme.com. It's so simple to do. All right, let's add one for the kitchen and dining area. Add a label. There we go. And that's how you add hotspots for navigating through here. So now I'm going to want to add, let's say, a different type of a hotspot. But for this one, I want to add a video. So click hotspot, drag it through there, and you have different icons in here that you can choose from. So I'm doing a video. So I am going to choose one of the ones that I've uploaded before. There we go. Now, you have to select if it's going to be a video first before you choose your icon. As you're going to see here, I kind of messed up. So, once I choose the link to, it's going to automatically send it back to the default hotspot. So, make sure you just choose the, choose the correct icon after you choose the link to type. So let me go ahead and get a shareable link here off of YouTube. There we go. So let's make sure that this works. Let's go ahead and preview it. Again, the preview is going to be in low res. So let's see. And there you go. That's how a YouTube streaming video is going to look in teleportme.com. And you just click off of nowhere and it goes away. All right. So we added a video. We've done hotspots. So now let's do something a little different here. Let's go with adding an image. Again, add new hotspot. 
choose the type of link to panel, which I'm choosing an image. Let's go ahead and choose an icon to put there. The simple info icon. There we go. It stands out. You're going to see it, and people are going to click on it. And here you can change the size of it. You can change it to whatever you want. You can also change the rotation as well. So an image, you would upload your image that you want. I already have mine uploaded, so I'm going to choose it here. There we go. And let's preview it. So now in the tour, you're going to see this little info icon. Click on it, and there you go. Pretty simple. So here, I want to add another hotspot, and I'm going to add a URL. So it's going to be a pop-up link to a different address, and I want this one to go to the photo album for this property that, I, that I've done this 360 for. Here we go. Let's go ahead and open that up. There, we, there it is. So I want this address here. Copy and paste it in my tour. And now let's take a look at it. So click the preview button. Again, it's going to open it up in that exact panel there. And you click the icon and it'll open it up in a new tab. And there it is. So another thing that you can do is you can actually make these hotspots aim towards the ground. And as you're going to see here, I'm going to show you. So you choose it and you, you select floor. And it's going to give it the perspective that the, the icons are on the floor. And it's a simple thing. And depending on your tour, that actually might look better than having a floating hotspot icon. This one, based on where my camera was, it was much easier to have them floating than it was on the floor, but on a lot of properties, I'll actually prefer to have icons on the floor so it doesn't obstruct anything. All right, so the tour is pretty much done. It's at the point that you like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on share. And here's a share window. And this will show you the full resolution of your, of your tour. So you can go through and you can do one more run around through there. You can check, make sure everything is good. And it's going to show you exactly the quality that your tour is going to be. So this, you can also add your logo here up in the upper left instead of doing it at the beginning of the tour. So it just depends on how you want to do that. And there you can choose the logo position, walkthrough mode, tour thumbnail if you want a thumbnail for, for posting on social. And in the bottom left, you can see you got the embed code for iframe. You have the MLS link. You have just a direct link. And then you have social media. So here is the, the link for this one here. You just simply click it, click save and come down there and grab that link and all this information will be on that link itself just double check there we go everything's there there's my data patch quality is optimum 
Transition's good. Everything is good on it. It's loading fast. Very, very fast, actually, for the size of these panoramas. So now, for doing the MLS, you just simply select the MLS link and you're done. So I hope this helps you and enjoy.